Hello and welcome to another Streambox free tutorial. My name is Tommy Morris from Streambox Marketing. Today we'll be going over how to use the app in your drone and embed and mode a module to stream to Streambox Cloud and then to Streambox Media Player. Now there are two ways to power up the app in your drone. The first is by plugging in the AC adapter which is included with the drone and the other is with the H-Clip. Now the H-Clip makes an Avenir drone with the embedded modem module wearable for convenient use in the field. The H-Clip provides two hot swappable Canon DSLR batteries for approximately two hours of use. When attaching the two products, first place the drone on top of the H-Clip, then simply screw the H-Clip onto the drone. Once screwed in, the drone will be secure. Now simply turn on the Avenir drone using the two DSLR batteries. Now simply plug in an HDMI cable to the Avenir drone and then plug it into the desired camera of your choosing. Now we will log in our Avenir drone going to avenir.streambox.com slash remote. Now simply enter in the serial ID, which is on the bottom of the Avenir drone. Log in and go to advanced. Once logged in, you will be at the remote settings for the Avenir drone. So there are two reasons why we would want to log into the Avenir remote access. One is that for remote access to the drone, you can remotely con take control of this unit. And two, so you can see the unit on the Avenir dashboard in the cloud to see where and when the unit is streaming and its last location with GPS. At the settings location, let's go to decoder. Here we'll be able to select where we will set up the decoder location. There are a number of settings here like Live East, Live US, and Live EU, but we're gonna do Live East. Once selected, we'll apply and then go back. Now let's go to metadata. Once here, we can set up our title, reporter, and location. These are all for organization purposes, but the DRM is the most important, which will set up where it will go and what account. And we'll save that. So once the decoder has been set up, we'll go through and we'll look at the different presets we can use. But for this demonstration, we'll use the far right one here which will preset our standard definition and our HD definition to the appropriate qualities that we need. So once we select that, then it should automatically start streaming to our desired decoder location. Once it starts streaming, then we'll be able to go to the cloud. So we'll log into the cloud service here. Once logged in, then we'll be able to see our live stream and from here, then we'll be able to view our live stream using our Streambox Media Player. Make sure that the Streambox Media Player is open before you stream to it. If it is not open, then it will not work. Besides the Streambox Media Player, we can also stream to Facebook, YouTube, and custom video players. If you are interested in how to do so, please follow our Facebook and YouTube video tutorials. Thanks for watching.